Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. We will study chapter 3 lessons from 21 to 30. We will learn the place and the value of the number and how to write the number in expanded form, standard form and word form. Also comparing between three digit numbers and finally ordering three digit numbers first the place it means the home of the digit in a number each number has home this home is called place when we wear a red one home is one room only is once the greatest digit for this room is nine when we added one it become 10. 10 is two digits, so this home is very small, so we built a new home has two rooms. The first room is 1 and the second room is 10. The greatest number I can put inside it is 99. If we added 1, it become 100. Oh, our home became very small. It's a three digit. So we need another home. This home, it will be three rooms. We can call them three places. Ones, tens, hundreds. The greatest number can I put inside it is 999. Now, let's learn how to read and write three-digit number in letters. For example, this number we know that the first digit is ones, the second digit is tens, and the third digit is hundreds. To read this number and write it in letters, we will start from the left. The first number from the left, I will say the number with its place. So, it's a 700. We can't say 7 only, we must say 700, and we will put AND, and read 1 sentence as a family, so it means 31, then this number is 731, another example, we will start from the left, we have here 200, and 54, Another example, we have this number, but we have here zero in tens, we have nothing in tens, so this number is 309. We have some notes, the greatest three digit number is 999. The smallest three-digit number is 100. For example, 253. Put the place above each digit. Ones, tens, hundreds. The place of the digit 5. 5 in tens place. Then we write tens. The place of the digit 2. 2 in hundreds place. Then write hundreds. The place of the digit 3. 3 in the ones place, then write ones. Second, the value. The value of any number depends on its place. How? If 2 in the ones place, its value is 2. If 2 in the tens place, its value is 20. If 2 in the hundreds place, its value is 200. Then, in ones, no zeros. In tens, we put one zero. In hundreds, we put two zeros. Example, 385. The value of the digit 3 is what? 
Let's put the place above each digit. Ones, tens, hundreds. Three in hundreds. Then we write three hundreds. We put two zeros. Three hundreds. The value of the digit eight is what? Eight in tens. So we put one zero. The answer is eighty. The value of the digit five is five in ones. No zeros. So we write five. Also, we can represent the number using this model. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones as a small square. Tens as a stick. Hundreds as a big square. And you should know that the small square equal one. The stick equal ten. The big square equal one hundred. And you should know that ten ones equal one ten. Ten from the small square equal one stick. Also, ten. Tens equal one hundred. Ten from the stick equal a big square. Let's count this model. We have here in ones, four in ones, and six in tens, and three in hundreds. Then this number has three hundreds, six tens, and four ones. For example. Two hundred fifty-three. Let's put the house above each digit. One tens hundreds. Then this number has two hundreds, five tens, and three ones. Now open your book page thirty-two and thirty-three, lesson twenty-one. Write the numbers given by the teacher. You should write these numbers in your book. There is example: three hundred eight tens five ones. Draw three big square in hundreds and eight stick in tens and five small square in ones. Let's solve number one: one hundred and one. Put the house from the right. Ones, tens, hundreds. Then we have one in hundreds, and zero in tens, and one in ones. Draw one big square in hundreds. No thing in tens. Draw one small square in ones. Number three. You can solve number two. Three hundred forty-one. Three hundred forty-one. So three in hundreds, four in tens, one in ones, and draw three big square, four sticks, and one small square. You can solve this exercise. Lesson twenty-two. Let's complete this. Two hundred fifty-five. Two in hundreds, five in tens, five in ones. Okay, and draw two big square, five sticks, five small square. Okay. Our math journal. Reflect on your learning. Answer the question below. How can three have different values? Three hundred and one. We know that the first digit is ones, and the second digit is tens, and the third digit is hundreds. Then the value of three in this number is three hundred. One hundred thirty. The value of three is hmm, three in tens. Then its value is thirty. One hundred three. The value of three is three because three in ones. We have three forms to write the number. Number one, word form. Write the number in words or in letters. F example, one hundred and seventy-two. Number two, standard form. Write the digits 
that make up the whole number. Example, 542-385. Number 3. Expanded form. Write the number to show hundreds, tens and ones that make the number. Example, 257. We know that the first digit ones and the second tens and the third hundreds. Then, to write it in expanded form, 200 plus 50 plus 7. Now, we have some exercise complete. Number 1, 694. We wanted to write this number in the expanded form. We know that the first digit is ones, the second digit is tens, and the third digit is hundreds. To write this number in the expanded form, we will put two zeros to the number in the hundreds. So it will be 600. And we will put one zero to the number in the tens. So it will be 90. And we will not put any zeros to the number in the ones. So it will be 4. Then 694 equals 600 plus 90 plus 4. Number 2, 938. We have here 9 in 100, 3 in tens, and 8 in ones. To write this number in the expanded form, we will put two zeros to the number in the hundreds, one zero to the number in the tens, no zeros to the number in the ones. Then, 938 equals 900 plus 30 plus 8. Number 3, 1 plus 50 plus 700. We have here the expanded form, and we wanted to write the standard form. Then, we will put 1s, 10s, 100s. This one, it has any zeros? No. So, it belongs to ones. Then, I will put one in ones. This 50, it has any zeros? Yeah, it has one zero. So, it belongs to tens. And I will put five in tens without any zeros. We just put five only. This 700, it has any zeros? Yeah, it has two zeros. So, it belongs to hundreds. Then, I will put seven in hundreds without any zeros. Number four. Three hundred plus twenty plus five. To write it in the standard form. We have here three hundred. Three hundred has two zeros. So, it belongs to hundreds. Then, I will put 3 in hundreds without any zeros. 20. 20 has one zero. So, it belongs to tens. Then, I will put 2 in tens without any zeros. And 5. 5, it hasn't any zeros. So, it belongs to ones. Then, I will put 5 in ones. Then, 300 plus 20 plus 5 equals 325. The last one, 200 plus 80 plus 0. We have here, 200 has two zeros, so it belongs to hundreds. And 80 has one zero, so it belongs to tens. Then, 200 plus 80 plus 0 equals 280.
now page 37 and 38 lesson 25 copy the number on the board into the word form side of the chart then write the standard form of the number the first one has been done for you we have a table standard form in the left word form in the right you should write this number in your book you can solve this exercise for example 11 in word form we can write it as a digits in the standard form another example 13 we can write it as a digits in standard form and also 19 the next page our math journal like a game the first box I have 224 who has 300 plus 50 plus 3 this is the expanded form and we can convert it or write it in a standard form 300 plus 50 plus 3 equals 353 the next box I have 425 who has 300 plus 20 plus 1 write it in standard form 321 I have 806 who has 700 plus 60 plus 1 write it in standard form 761 the last one I have 761 who has 800 plus 0 plus 6 complete this box now comparing three digit numbers the crocodile always eats the greatest number then which is the greatest 432 or 824 let's learn how to compare between two numbers to compare between two numbers use these symbols greater than less than and equal to for example number one seventy one thirty eight we have two digits and we have here also two digits then look at the tens place seven three seven is greater than three then 71 is greater than 38 number 2 571 938 three digits and also three digits then look at the hundreds place 5 9 we know that 5 less than 9 then 571 is less than 938 number 3 413 462 three digits and also three digits look at the hundreds of place four and four they are the same then look at the tens of place one and six and we know that one less than six then 413 is less than 462 number 4 259 255 we have three digits and also three digits look at the hundreds place 2 and 2 the tens place 5 and 5 they are the same then look at the ones place 9 and 5 9 is greater than 5 then 259 is greater than 255 open your book page 39 and 40 lesson 28 write these numbers in your book then compare the numbers and write less than greater than or equal in the circle 300 and 200 300 is greater than 200 798 987 
seven in hundreds, nine in hundreds, then seven hundred ninety-eight is less than nine hundred eighty-seven. Five hundred one, five hundred ten. We have here five in the hundreds place and five in the hundreds place. They are the same. Then look at the tens place. Zero and one. Then five hundred one is less than five hundred ten. Complete this exercise. The last one, one hundred seventy, one hundred seventeen. One in hundreds and one in hundreds. Look at the tens. Seven and one. Then. 170 is greater than 117. The next page, our math journal. Reflect on your learning, write or draw directions for how to compare numbers. Number one, look at the hundred place to decide which is bigger. Number two, if it equal, look at the tens place. Number three, if it equal, look at the ones place. Finally, ordering three digit numbers. We will compare numbers and order them, ascending or descending. Ascending order from the smallest to the biggest. Descending order from the biggest to the smallest. For example, write the numbers in order from least to greatest. It means ascending order. Which is the smallest number? 15, 9, 24, 132, or 7. The smallest number here is 7. Then write 7 and cancel it. And the smallest is 9. Write 9 and cancel it. We have here 15, 24, 132. The smallest is 15. Write 15 and cancel it. And write 24 and cancel it. And the last number 132. Now page 41 and 42. Lesson 29. Write the numbers in order from least to greatest. It means ascending order. Then, which is the smallest number here? 17, 9, 2, 3, or 8. The smallest number is 2. Then write 2 and cancel it. And write 3 and cancel it. And write 8, cancel it. We have 17 and 9. Write 9 and cancel it. And the last number is 17. Complete this question. The last one. Write the numbers in order from greatest to least. It means descending order. Then, which is the greatest number here? 28, 4, 38, 241, or 34. The greatest number is 241. Then write 241 and cancel it. 28, 4, 38, 34. The greatest, 38. Write 38 and cancel it. And write 34 and cancel it. 28 and 4. The greatest is 28. Then write 28 and cancel it. And the last number, 4. Write 4 and cancel it. The next page. Work with your shoulder partner to choose five game cards. Then write the numbers on your game cards from least to greatest. We have a cards, okay? Then write the numbers from least to greatest. It means ascending order. The smallest one here is what? 99. And the smallest... 156 then complete this exercise our math journal write or draw what you did well and what you still need to work on what I did well read and write 
three digit numbers arrange the numbers ascending and descending complete this page and goodbye test your understanding using this link